Hello everyone, this is Randy C. French, and I want to talk to you about the Holy Spirit. So, who is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is not a dove. Let me just put it that way. Even though we see some beautiful pictures of the Holy Spirit, you know, sometimes we see beautiful pictures of the Holy Trinity, you know, God the Father is on one side, Jesus is on the other, and the Holy Spirit is in the middle as a dove, or other pictures similar to that, but the Holy Spirit isn't a bird, He isn't a dove, but that's only symbolic, because He is like a dove, He is gentle and meek like a dove so anyways the Holy Spirit is a person so we believe in the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is the Lord and he gives life the Holy Spirit is also proceeds from the Father and the Son Jesus Christ there's been schisms in the church over that the Holy Spirit only proceeds from the Father and not from Jesus you know but the truth is the church has always taught from right from the apostolic times and until now it's going to continue to teach this this is the truth that the Holy Spirit proceeds from the Father and the Son also we worship the Holy Spirit in unity with the Father and the Son. Sometimes we have a big problem with, you know, worshiping the Holy Spirit or praying to the Holy Spirit or to, or, what, how, or praising to the Holy Spirit. You know, but the thing is, the Holy Spirit is to be worshiped in unity with the Father and the Son. Just like you can pray to the Father and worship the Father, we and Jesus Christ we pray to the Lord Jesus Christ and we worship Jesus we can also worship the Holy Spirit and pray to the Holy Spirit because he is God <laughs> he's not a lesser member he is equal unity he is a member of the whole of the Holy Trinity Jesus said so Jesus said that when we baptize we should use the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay? Jesus said it, and that, that, that settles it. Okay. The Holy Spirit has spoken through the prophets and the apostles. That's why we have the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Holy Spirit came down upon these, on these ones, the prophets and, and the apostles and all the others. He breathed upon them. He inspired them to write the Holy Scriptures. So the Bible is from the Holy Spirit. It's inspired by the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Because <laughs> yeah, He has spoken through the prophets and the apostles. Now, the Holy Spirit was sent by the Father and the Son on the day of Pentecost. The Holy Spirit officially came and it was the birth of the church praise the Lord <laughs> on the day of Pentecost that's when we celebrate the the birth of the church and when the Holy Spirit came he also gave gifts and fruit to us you know the fruit of the Spirit love peace joy gentleness goodness faithfulness meekness temperance and long suffering some of the gifts of the Holy Spirit is is the word of knowledge uh, word of of wisdom you know prophecy and speaking in tongues and interpretation of tongues and many other gifts miracles and healings and many other gifts but the thing is the Holy Spirit gave us gifts now the initial evidence according to us who are charismatic the initial evidence that we do have the Holy Spirit is that we speak in tongues. We know that not all Christians have the charismatic gifts. They may not know about it or whatever. That's But those who are charismatic and receive tongues from the Holy Spirit 
they speak in tongues. <laughs> now, the Holy Spirit confirms us. The baptism of the Holy Spirit was originally called confirmation, which confirmation basically means a sealing, a confirming, establishing, giving strength, making one firm. So when we receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit confirmation, we are made stronger. We are established. We are made firm. We're sealed by the Holy Spirit, just like the Apostle Paul tells us. So when the Holy Spirit comes upon us, when we receive the Holy Spirit, we are confirmed. Praise the Lord. So, anyways, this is just some of the wonderful facts about who the Holy Spirit is. I love the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day. God bless you and peace to you always.